Good Saturday morning. I'm KHU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez with your latest tropic update. We are seeing barrel. It's weakened to a tropical storm with winds at 60 miles an hour. Uh, we are expecting this to strengthen right before it reaches the Texas coast. Right now it's moving west northwest at 12 miles an hour. So we're seeing some slowdown with the storm as we as it moves off towards the northwest. Here's a look at the latest track. Of course, there's hurricane warnings in effect for uh, portions of Port Lavaca all the way down the Corpus Christi even north of the Rio Grande River, but we are expecting this to strengthen just briefly to a category one hurricane just prior to landfall at around uh, 1 p.m. on Monday. So we could see some 90 mile an hour winds by Tuesday. We're expecting this to continue its northward track with 40 mile an hour winds. And the good news with this is that this storm looks like to be appearing to be moving off quite fast. Models are in agreement that we're going to see a landfall somewhere down the middle Texas coast in and around near Corpus Christie as we head into the next uh, 48 hours. So as we look at the seven day rain potential, it's important to note that uh, even though you see most of the heavier rainfall to the west of the Houston area, uh, we could see up to five to seven inches of accumulated rainfall as that storm moves through portions of uh, just south in west of the Houston area. So heavy rain possible. We could get up to two to four inches of rain here across Houston, but there's still some uncertainty in terms of the rainfall accumulations. As we look at the GFS American model, we're seeing most of the heavier rain out around Victoria near Edna, even Austin dealing with some of this heavier downpours. The good news is by Tuesday, most of the heavier rain bands are going to be out towards the east of us, and so it's going to be moving quite fast. This is what we like to see in terms of the movement of the storm. It doesn't seem like it's going to be lingering over southeast Texas, dumping significant amount of rain, but we could see some tropical storm force winds uh, for our inland areas as we head into uh, later on on uh, Monday afternoon into Tuesday. So expecting that to continue uh, with that rain chance through Friday, but the latest update, not really much change uh, in the forecast track zone as we look at that situation. But those tropical alerts right now, hurricane watches are in effect from Brazosport up and down the Texas coast through Corpus Christy, even Port Mansfield. Uh, so we're definitely watching that. Also, uh, no matter where this storm makes landfall, we could see some two to five feet storm surge. So a storm surge watch is in effect for portions of coastal Harris County, Galveston counties, stretching all and down the Texas coast of Port Lavaca, even Corpus Christi. So we could see up to two to five feet of water inundation possible. That's for all Gulf facing beaches uh, for our area. So it's going to be probably two to four feet for the Galveston area. Area, but Brazosport up to probably three to five feet. Of course, wherever that storm makes landfall, they're going to see the more greater five feet water inundation uh, for those coastal areas uh, as we go into the next uh, two days. So if you are uh, along the immediate coast, make sure to heed those warnings and evacuation orders from those officials. So as we track barrel, we are expecting this to arrive uh, Monday into Tuesday, making landfall at some point along the Texas coast. We could see tropical storm threats here across the area and that in terms means a some heavy rain as well as some possible uh, strong winds along the coastal area. So uh, the need for this is to watch the latest forecast, especially on KHU.com and on the KHU 11 app.